Uh, in figure, uh, three five kilojoule spheres are located at distance d one and d two. What is the value of d one? D one is equal to zero point three meter. D two is equal to zero point four meter. What we need to find the mass of the all particle m a is equal to m b and m c are equal. Magnitude and direction of net gravitational force on sphere B due to sphere A and C. What is the force acting on sphere B by sphere A? Sphere A and upon a sphere B attract one. This is upward direction, positive I can. Sphere C and upon a sphere B attract. This is positive I can. Force acting on B by A and etc. Force acting on B by A. Force acting on B B C. So force acting on B by A is equal to G mass of B mass of A divided by distance between B and A is D one squared positive I cap direction. Force acting on B by C is equal to what? C mass B mass A divided by distance of the D two square. Positive here, yeah, sorry, force B to A with the positive J term. Vertical of the J term. It is positive I term. Substitute the values. What is the value of G? Six point six four two six. Ten power minus eleven mass A and B five into five. All mass over here then after twenty five. D one is point three square. Get by solving one point eight five into ten power minus eight. So magnitude root of the square for me here, but here is our answer. Force acting on B C. So magnitude is not there. Not a vector. It's so magnitude root of the square for me. Here B C. Point six four into ten four minus eleven into twenty five divided by point four square. I give the answer is one point zero four into ten four minus eight. Okay, we find out the force acting on A B by A, force acting on A B by C, force acting on B on by C. We need to find the magnitude of the net force. Net gravitational force is equal to root of F B squared plus F B C squared. It is given by root of two terms. L four square, L four square. So the answer is two point one two into ten to the minus eight. Okay. Then we need the direction of the resultant force. Direction can be found here. Here is vertical force. We can J curve the vertical. We can J curve. We can the horizontal. We can the I curve. So. How do you find the direction? Direction is equal to tan theta is equal to vertical component by horizontal component. It is which is vertical. This is vertical. This is horizontal. Minus eight cancelled. Theta is equal to tan inverse of. So that is the answer. Answer here is sixty point sixteen. So what? This is positive value, sixty point sixty degree, sixty point six degree. So the resultant must be sixty point six degree from the positive x-axis. This is sixty point six degree. What is the value of the resultant net value? Two point one two into ten power minus eight. 
So angle is 60 degree, direction is 60.60 .60 degree, net magnetic produce 2.12 into 10 power minus 2. 